So today I'm going to uh, make some bacon. So I have this piece of pork belly that I've cleaned. Um, and now I'm going to cut it in half. First step of the process is to just weigh this out. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll, I'll just take the entire thing and then zero the weight out. And then when I lift this up, I see that it's basically 1500 grams. And then I do the same with this one. And then we see that this is 1700 grams. Okay, so. So then all you have to do is to figure out, okay, so 3% of 1700 and plus 2% 2 of 1700. So 51 grams of nitrate salt. This is actually salt with 0.6% nitrate. 51 grams. Uh, two percent of seventeen. That should be thirty-four grams of brown sugar. This is what it looks like. You can put like maple and uh, all kinds of sugars in here. Uh, I used uh, dark brown sugar uh, last time, and it worked really well. So this is going to be vacuum salted, and it's going to be under vacuum for uh, about a week eight days and that means that all of the meat will be basically through osmosis uh, will have pretty much the same salt content and sugar content so it's going to be evenly distributed so what I'll do now is try to get this into the, the bag it's, that's the most difficult part of this just wiggle it in So this is a very simple and um, easy and safe way to make bacon. Um, well, all the preparation that really goes into it is this. And then all that is left is to put it in uh, the fridge. And let it sit there for um, about a week or so. And just remember to turn it every once in a while. So this is what they look like after a week in the fridge as you can see the sugar and the salt has been completely dissolved so what we're going to do now is just to open it up uh, rinse it off and uh, pat it dry and then leave it on a rack in the fridge here you can see the the nitrate makes the meat quite red we go ready to dry for two days this is our smokehouse so here's the bacon uh, getting ready to be smoked so this is the smoke system I'm going to use today this is just a labyrinth with uh, pellets from Traeger 50% uh, maple and 50% hickory you can see we have the smoke high here um, we've used that quite a lot as well but I actually find that this is this simple thing here uh, produces smoke for about 12 hours and usually that's more than enough and it's very very easy and uh, no fuss just light it up I'll show you now and then get it going Produces quite a lot of smoke as you can see. All you have to do close this up and leave a little bit of a gap. The 
construction of the house is pretty simple. It's just um, built with uh, an angled roof and um, a concrete slab on the ground. And then this is just like a plywood thing. So now the bacon has been um, smoking for 12 hours and it looks beautiful. So all we have to do now is just either dry it, uh, hang it to dry, or just uh, vacuum pack it so that uh, the smoke can redistribute throughout the meat. And leave it in the fridge for, I don't know, four days or so, three to four days. So now that the uh, bacon has been uh, Yes, uh, stabilizing or homogenizing in the, um, the fridge. It's ready to be tested and cut up and everything. So this here <clears throat> is the cutoff because of the bones. Um, this is perfect for carbonara or when you don't need thin sliced bacon. Bacon! Woohoo!